I want to thank all of you for coming to celebrate Jason Ron's 30 year anniversary. I believe that Jason started working here at Oak Knoll almost right out of high school. Is that correct, Jason? Yeah, right. like, yep, and, and has been here for 30 years and probably will make it to 40 or 45 or maybe even 50 years at Oak Knoll. So he is one of the most dedicated and loyal employees that we will ever have. I started here, it's like it was 1999, so almost 24 years ago and Jason was, was a housekeeper in the health center and he never said anything. He was the most quiet person in the world and, and over the years as, as we've had opportunities to, to grow and develop, uh, Jason has taken it upon himself to do anything he can to help our residents and other staff members and he's really, really shined through that and it's like, Jason, it's like I just want to congratulate you for 30 fantastic years of service to our residents here. Uh, I know that you would do absolutely anything for anybody who asks uh, of you. So, so thank you so much. Well, um, I decided to put a few uh, random facts that happened the year that Jason started working here. 1993, um, Bill Clinton was sworn in as the 42nd president. Uh, we had the great blizzard of 1993. If anybody remembers that, I was four and I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> a gallon of gas was a dollar 16. Uh, Michael Jordan walked away from basketball. And I kind of already said it, but Josiah Miller turned four that year. So I was four years old when Jason started working here. But Jason, uh, I appreciate all your work. You have always been a hard worker. You've always come in and helped me when I needed it the most, especially during COVID. You worked almost every single day. Um, we, appreci we appreciate you and all the residents. I also appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. I don't know. I just, time has just went so fast, I guess. It doesn't really seem like in here. Been here 30 years, you know. When I first started here, I didn't really plan on being here this this long. You know, I had, you know, I just wanted to, you know, start saving money, for, you know, you know, for working, you know, buying things, you know, get my first home, you know, my first, you know, another car and stuff. And it's just the staff and the staff and the the residents, you know, and everything. It's just, you know, just being here. You know, it's a very welcoming, warming place. And, you know, it's just. You know, when I first started here, they had the flood of '93, and it just that was that was a very trying time, and you know, just you know, because that I had that morning, I was trying to you know, I had to, I was trying to get into into work in the morning, one morning, and uh, that's so I had my first apartment over there in Corville, and I couldn't find a I couldn't find a street that wasn't that wasn't flooded, so I, so that was back when they had pay phones on the street, so I had to go to a pay phone. And called Oak Knoll. I said, I can't find it. I, I'm going to be late here. I can't find the streets are full. So eventually, I made it. I made it in. And then that, that's eventually in that morning that they had the, the, the it was raining so much, and the, 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 the uh, there was a water running down the, the, uh, the walls, and it was making the fire alarms were going on. You can see that was back when they had also had the administration office was over there over there by the hill center and then the, the drain got plugged up by uh, some cardboard <laughs> so then that got that got so the administration office over there got flooded but uh and it was just this is it's just this is just, just a it's a very nice place here it's just it's very welcoming and it's just a it seems like i just started here it's just it's time is time has just went by fast and you can see then before i started here i worked over at the Iowa City Rehab, and that's, I worked there for about a year after school, you know, after I got out of school, and, and it, it was a full, it was a part-time place, and, and, uh, and they were working part-time, so then I went over there to the, uh, you know, I couldn't get a full-time job, they wouldn't hire me full-time, you can only for a full-time, and that's when they had the, uh, the uh, press citizen was still over there on, on, on Dodge over there, so then I went over there and got, uh, got a, a newspaper. You know, and then I looked looked through the newspaper, and, and they said Oak Knoll was in there. He's one of the 
a full-time housekeeper. So then that's when I come over here, and that's when Herman, his office was that his office was down here by the laundry room, which I don't remember his office being down there at that time. So then I went. He had, you know, he hired me then, but you know, pretty much right off the right off the spot, and that's you know, things just kind of went from there. But uh, I just I just really enjoyed it, you know. Say, I just really enjoy working here. Everybody, the staff, and like I said, the staff and the residents, and it's a, it's a really nice place to be here. And Jason, I just want to say thank you for 30 oh. years. It's come full circle. Uh, you know, just like he said that uh, during the flood, he found a way to get here. Just recently, uh, you know, deer are everywhere, and even in the event of you know issues with cars and deer, Jason mm -hmm. finds a way to, to make it to work. Yeah. So we appreciate you. We're glad you're safe, and uh, thank you for 30 years. Well, I'm Jenny. I'm Jason's mother, and I'm uh, very, very proud of him. I'm Jason's dad. I'm uh, Diane Cole, and I'm Jason's aunt, Jenny's sister.